some papers that it was citing, referring to. Since 2001, there have been over a thousand additional DSM papers. So a lot of people have started to do work in this area. Over 500 journal papers alone on DSM or talking about DSM at some level. And so there's a lot of stuff out there. And so this paper was not a review because it didn't have space to go into detail about what each of these papers had done. It was less ambitious than that. It was a high level survey, kind of what's the landscape look like now. And so some of these ideas I'm going to talk about came from uh, that survey. And looking at that big picture, what stood out, where were the valleys as well, meaning some gaps and some opportunities. So I put in one slide since the tutorial is later. And this is just in case anyone here needs basic DSM orientation. But many people find it easy to understand what we call a node link diagram or a network diagram or a directed graph diagram. And it can be shown in an equivalent DSM square matrix. So some key basics about DSM, it's always a square matrix, same number of rows and columns. And the nodes or elements in this network Think of these shaded cells along the diagonal as representing them, and then think of the cells off of the diagonal as capturing the presence of a relationship. And sometimes with different numbers or symbols, we say more than just presence. Maybe we say strength or frequency or importance, things like that. So the two ways of looking at the same thing at this point. but the one on the right, as you start getting more and more nodes and more and more relationships that you want to document, it looks like a nice plate of spaghetti and meatballs at an Italian restaurant. And it's hard to see patterns sometimes. Yes, sometimes we can cluster and color these nodes in a graph and see interesting things as well. But the DSM just has some visual advantages for seeing the system and also seeing patterns within the architecture. So that, that's some of the big benefits of DSM. Most of the analyses that we talk about, you can do in either representation. It's really math behind the scenes going on. But again, the matrix sometimes is helpful for seeing the result of that analysis.